y'all. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> My name is Ashley Collins. Don't worry, this is not going to be another accents video. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel, which is The Breakup Diaries. If I could do a thing, it would be like right there. <laughs> and I'm just honestly so happy to be on this planet with you right now, to be a part of this universe. And I know that things may seem very unsteady. I know that things seem very ugly and nasty right now, but take a deep breath in with me. Focus on your toes. Focus on your feet because you are on solid ground and everything's going to be okay. Unless you're on a cruise ship, then... It may seem very rocky, literally. <laughs> what we're going to talk about today, the theme for today, the topic for today is why I like being poor. What I enjoy about being broke. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, that's poor mindset. You shouldn't say that about yourself. Hear me out before you preach in my comments, okay? There's a method to my madness. You know, there's a strategy to everything that I do. <laughs> I don't talk because I like to hear my voice. Because I actually hate my voice. That was poor mindset. That was very self-defeating. I think I have a cute voice. I think my voice is cute. Okay. Um, as I said, I like I've said in a previous video before, I have a very poor relationship with money. A common phrase said in my household was, "We can't afford it." Um, I would ask for something, they'd be like, "No, because we can't afford it." And I would never really question it. And I find myself saying that even now. Um, I'll be like, "I have to walk that extra mile because I can't afford an Uber." When the correct phrasing should be, that's not a priority for, for me right now. And I so I think that if we switch that phrasing, it would just make things a bit more easier, a bit more smooth. Something else, um, I worked a summer job and I looked up, I, I'm actually very good at budgeting. I'm actually very good at budgeting. I'm actually very good at saving money. So I looked at my finances at the end of the summer and I was like, where did all my money go? And I realized I was actually, actually spending more money than I was actually making it. Okay, so right now my goal is to get a job where I'm making at least, at least, mm, at least, and I'm so nervous saying this out loud, I need at least $2,000 a month in order to live comfortably. So I think that I listen to um, a lot of certain speakers. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it when you guys like come, come in my comments, come in my inbox and say, oh, you should listen to this video, you should listen to this, listen to this. Um, I'll listen to it once, but I'll try, I try to focus, I try to put these, these certain amount of people in my mind because it's good for my mindset. It's good for, um, it's good for my depression. It's good for my anxiety. Um, it's these positive habits that I'm doing in order to not be so sad all the time. But, um, someone, someone that I actually listen to quite frequently, ironically, is Grant Cardone. I know he, um, I don't agree with everything that he do. He does. I think that his marketing is very aggressive, which I think that I actually lack. I've been, um, selling things a lot on offer up and on let go because my goal is to um I want to be able to fit everything into one suitcase and into one backpack why because I've noticed that it's just me being at my age I'm 29 years old I don't have any kids I don't have any big assets um so what I need my hierarchy of need, my Maslow's a hierarchy of need is very small um i remember when i spoke to uh i spoke to jay rise and he asked me and like he was like what why are you setting your standards so low he asked me what do i need daily in order to be comfortable in order to be happy and i said i just need to eat once a day so hear me out okay hear me out there's this film called happy thank you more please and i oh my god it's i think it's been like 10 years since I saw this film, but it, oh my God, it just met, left me in this kind of blissful state. Something Grant Cardone says is, there's no such thing, I'm gonna burp, I apologize. I apologize, I was so unladylike. I'm a lady, I promise, I swear. Um, <laughs> something Grant Cardone says is, there's no such thing as the middle class. It is something that the rich, the politicians do as a way to make us feel like we're we're doing fine. Like, oh, uh, you don't need to rise higher than you are because you're fine where you are. Stay where you are. I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to look out for the little guy while I get fucking richer. You see that? Like, it's, it's fucking trickery. It's all, it's all fuckery. That's, you know, that's politics. Um, what happy thank you more please taught me was that Happiness, success, comfort, wealth is, is not all up here. 
it's not up here it's something that is is a right for every human being but it's also a different scale for everyone for some people happiness is owning three cars that's not my idea of happiness that doesn't mean that make it wrong at all that doesn't make it wrong at all you know and i think what we do is we compare we compare what the other person has versus what we have and we're like oh i don't have that so i guess that means i'm not happy why is it always raining when i'm recording <laughs> What we do is we say that person has that, but I don't have that. So I guess I'm not doing this right. I guess I'm not actually really happy because I don't have that. And that's no, like happiness is a different scale for everybody. Also wealth and abundance is available to everybody. But we, we stop pursuing it because we get comfortable. We stop pursuing it because we think that we can access it. You know, and I think that nothing's in our way. Nothing's in our way. No, we, okay, I take that back. We are in our way. We are in our way. And I think that being poor, being broke, having nothing, having been homeless, having, having to have slept on a couch, having to have slept on an air mattress with actually no air. <laughs> I slept in a mattress with no air. So I basically slept on a fucking floor for fucking months. And God, I just think that it makes it so easy to be grateful for things. I swear to God, like, I still think $5 is a lot of money. And I'm always so grateful for it. You should see me. Oh, my God. You should see me in real life when people, when people, when you, when people say these positive comments to me, when po people give me positive feedback and I say crying, I literally mean crying because I know what it's like to have nothing. Do you know? Oh, my God. I'm about to get so fucking emotional. Do you know what it's like to literally not eat for days? Not recommending it to anyone. <laughs> 20 out of 10 would not recommend. So when I say that I'm crying, it's because I know what it's like to lack. I live in a tiny, tiny box <laughs> with four of the roommates. And I am just the most blissful, happiest person that you can be because I know what it's like to fucking sleep on a couch. To not even really have access to a shower, to beg someone to use their shower. I know what it's like to have to walk miles because I couldn't afford a $1.50 bus fare. Happy, thank you, more please. Say thank you, thank you for what you have right now as opposed to what you're going to have in the future. I'm happy. Thank you so much for this. More please, because I want more thank yous. I want more bliss. It's those daily little things of gratitude practice because happiness is right now. Happiness is right fucking now. It's not 10 years from now. It's not 30 days from now. It's not, oh my God, I can't wait to go on that trip so I can finally relax and unwind. No, nothing's stopping you from fucking relaxing and unwinding right fucking now. You're in a rush at work. You're, you're rushing, you're rushing, you're rushing. Stop. And look around and appreciate one fucking thing. Just one. And I know that, I mean... <sighs> I met someone yesterday who was, who was very wealthy. Like, no, he's fucking rich. He's fucking rich. And he was talking, we were talking about the time in his life where he felt like he had nothing. He had tons of money. He had tons of wealth, but he felt so alone. And I was look, reading um, comments on a video that Gary V did, did recently saying that you think money is going to give you happiness, but it's really not. And people were like, easy for you to say you have money. And, and I think that's why we need to get out of this stuck middle class mindset. Because no one's stopping you. Literally, no one is stopping you. It's what we consume. It's what we think. It's all, oh my God. We think that there's a, a, a map. We think that there's a blueprint in order to be rich, in order to be wealthy, in order to be comfortable, but you create it yourself. No one's stopping you. 
gratitude and bliss are your birthright. And it's not entitlement. It's not entitlement at all. Like, everyone should be fucking comfortable. Everyone should have fucking access to a room. Everyone should have fucking access to running water. Everyone should have access to fucking food daily. Those are my daily goals. And just like to have my eyebrows on fleek every day. <laughs> Had to throw in a little joke on that. Because, you know, why take yourself so seriously? What I like about being poor is I'm just so grateful for everything. You have... Oh my God, and I feel like I, I feel like people maybe think I'm being phony, but meet me in real life. I swear, like, I went to this event and my, and my friend showed up. I invited him on Facebook and I was like, come show up. And I was like, oh my God, you should have. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so, so much. And he was like, calm down. I was like, <laughs> how does one not be excited about things? And I know that a lot of a lot of gurus will say um, you have to learn how to control your excitement, but huh, how can you not? When you've been in the fucking dirt like I have, when you've been homeless, when you've been fucking carless, when you've been jobless, and you're wondering what your next meal is, how can I not treat myself to a steak because I know that it's what it's like to not eat? I'm very big on treating myself. I'm very big on it because I know how limited life is. I know that I, I could stop breathing at any moment. I could have, fuck, have a fucking aneurysm right now. You know, I think I'm pretty healthy. I think I'm pretty healthy. Glass of wine a night. <laughs> be thankful for what you have right now. Don't be too comfortable where you are. Keep striving for it. Keep pushing yourself. And... And I think that, I don't want people to think that, like, I have very low standards. Like, I still have fucking high standards, bitch. Like, I still have fucking high standards, you know? <laughs> My hair always needs to be done, you know? <laughs> but I also think that, you know, people that are, like, fucking broke, people that are fucking poor, people that fucking hustle, we know where to get the fucking good deals at. Like, I know where all the good deals are at, you know? <laughs> so fucking talk to us. Don't talk to your rich friends, you know? Because <laughs> we know where all the good deals are. <laughs> Practice this daily, guys. Practice being happy. Practice saying thank you. And practice saying more, please. Because there is more gratitude. There is more wealth. It's all accessible. Right here, though. Right now. It's accessible right here, right now. Cool. Yay! I feel great. What about you? <laughs> I'm going to go, I am very, very, I dance class tonight. I'm very, very excited about it. We are going to dance to ape shit. I'm obviously going to like do the clean version. Like I'm not, I'm a bad influence, but like I, I like my job. I'm going to try to hold on to this job for a little bit. <laughs> um, so look out for that on my Instagram story. Why aren't you following me on Instagram? My Instagram is the aunt of dragons. Yes, it's a Game of Thrones reference. Or you can follow me on Twitter, which is the aunt of dragon singular because there's a fucking limit to how many characters you can put on Twitter. Go figure. Have a great, great day, guys. Remember, bliss, gratitude, and wealth is a birthright. It's nothing to do with entitlement. Don't get stuck in that mindset. Be grateful. Be thankful for everything, for everything, for everything. Gratitude practice. It's the easiest, simplest thing that you can do, and it's a great way to fight the hard fight because... Life is a battlefield, but you can walk through it like a superhero, in my opinion. Smile.